drastic decline in donations for the Salvation Army. This holiday season, you may have already noticed fewer bells ringing outside local stores. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Bryant Reed is live right now in New Britain with more on what's driving this decline. Bryant. Yeah, Mark, one of those issues that you just mentioned is the lack of bell ringers. As a matter of fact, the Salvation Army here in New Britain even has a sign that says that they're accepting applications right now for bell ringers. Now, as the year has gone on, more and more people have asked the Salvation Army for help. And don't get me wrong, they're doing everything that they can. It's just that they need more assistance. If you're walking into a grocery store this holiday season, you might not hear that familiar ring of a Salvation Army bell. Some still are a little bit nervous about COVID and health concerns with being out. Major Deborah Ashcraft says the reason people aren't volunteering as much to ring the bell is anecdotal. She's not really sure why, but it's affecting the dollars they raise. People are still giving donations, but we have fewer kettles out there because we have a shortage of bell ringers. And so that clearly impacts the, the kettle campaign. The money goes towards making sure people can still stay in their homes with lights on and a meal at the table. But Quinnipiac professor Muhammad Elahi says there's a reason people are clenching to each dollar with a tight fist. Uh, typically, our uh, style of giving money to charity follows the economic cycle. In other words, when the economy is doing well, people donate more. When it's not doing well, naturally, they donate less. Certain spending, we do not have any control. At the end of the month, I still have to pay for my electricity bill. I still have to pay for my gases. But wherever I can tighten my belt, I would. Just one reason why Salvation Army has taken a toll. But Major Ashcraft says your donations don't have to be money. It can be time, like becoming a bell ringer yourself and increasing donations by standing in front of a store petitioning for a good cause as inflation has hit hard and many could use the help. Now, outside of your time, there are other ways that you can also donate. If you just so happen to not see a kettle sometime this holiday season, you can donate one virtually. You can start a virtual kettle, and you can also text a number that the Salvation Army has. We'll make sure to have that information online. In New Britain tonight, I'm Brian Reed, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, certainly a lot of ways to help. Brian, thank you very much.